used when there is a fractional part representation so here <laughs> everyone note down ma floating point representation is very important note down why we will go for floating point representation is whenever you have a uh, such a big number and even a small uh, numbers to uh, in order to store that you take some uh, maximum so how to represent that is using floating point representation let us consider this example see here ma this is your example see here this is your example binary representation first is what you in your question you will not get binary number directly what you will get is you will get a decimal number like 623.567 so what you will you have to do is you need to convert the given decimal number to binary is a first step for how to convert floating point representation so in this case i am showing directly a binary number is given in this binary number first step is what note down in your notes ma first step given a decimal number need to convert to a binary but i already have given a binary number next step is we need to do normalization so normalization so this is your binary number okay so in this binary number try to concentrate so here in this binary number we have to do normalization so what is this normalization is represent the above number in floating point number first binary point is shifted to right of the first bit and the number is multiplied by this number okay so see here ma so how many uh, uh, try to see my position so try to see my cursor position or else i will go for that ma okka sar evaraina note cheskonna ma binary number note cheskunnara anyone yes ma'am every ah uh, okay then we will go for this presentation okay uh, first step is what ma in floating point representation can anyone given a decimal number first step given a decimal number Convert need to convert to binary. to binary is a first step so i have given directly what's on what's the number man 41 trip it's not 41 sir oh yes yes ma'am 41 okay 41 01 01 point 100 100 110 110 One one zero. Okay, this is a binary number that we got. Second step is we need to do normalization. So what is this normalization? Is you in order to save this number inside a num inside your uh, memory, we have I triply four I triply I triply floating point representation I triply five four. Seven five four floating point representation. So in this second step, in order to do normalization, this one until this one we have to shift. Okay, until this one we have to shift. Means this point must be shifted to here. So one point. So how many numbers we are shifting? Ma, one, two, three, four, five. So five. So next you will get one 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 zero one one zero zero zero. One one zero. So this is your normalization. Means in a normalization by default, before one should be before this uh, point, you you will get a one. So this there is no need of storing this one by default. Internally, system knows that before this we have a one. So the remaining part we have to store inside. So see here. So how many we uh, we shifted? Ma one two three four five we shifted. As it is binary, the base will be two two bar five. We we need to represent. So where is this? Ah, yes. So here. So how many we shifted, ma? So one, two, three, four, five. So we shifted uh, to this position. This is normalization into two power five. How we are getting five means how many positions we shifted right side. So those many positions we need five. So this five is your exponent. So this is your base and this is your digit. So here, try to concentrate. So one more, we have even discussed about uh, negative number representation. Can anyone given a negative number? We we uh, we will represent the negative number in how many ways? Negative number representation. How many ways we can represent? Ma, negative number. No one. Negative number representation, ma. Three ways are there. What are those three ways? 
that's the reason ma if you can understand this if you know those uh, negative number representation what are those three notes unna mundu front notes pettukunnara ah what are those three ways sign magnitude uh, representation ah uh, sign magnitude representation one complement one complement one complement uh, and two complement yes i got an answer two yes ma good i got an answer okay so negative number representations are of three three types so what are those three types sign magnitude representation one complement representation and two complement representation so in this i am showing sign magnitude representation try to concentrate so sign here if it is mentioning as 1 so this given number is nothing but the negative number if the given number is negative number so as this directly it is given as a binary number it is not mentioned any number i am considering as negative number but i have given sign as 1 and then what we the remaining part will be considered as a fractional part and a and we also called as a mantissa so after dot will be considered this as a fractional part also called as a mantissa see so this is and exponent equals to 5 now let uh, everyone uh, let me take one example minus 12.625 convert this binary decimal number to binary and tell me the answer Minus twelve point six two five. Twelve and ten. Manam division kellal sna ustram le jama. Eight four two one better say mo sundi one one zero zero. Next six two five. Ah six two five. Ella jee yali. How to calculate six two five to to get your zero uh, point? Gurtuna into two. Ah what we will get the value finally. and uh, in just now one student uh, answered right instead of that i want one more student to answer how much time you will take 12.625 to convert that uh, decimal number to binary ma If anyone done, you can say the answer. Zero point one zero one. Zero point one zero one. Are you saying for six two five? No, include all this twelve point six two five. Include all and tell. Double one double zero point one zero one. Double one double zero point one zero one. Yes. Yes, according to fourteen point representation, first step is over. What's the first step? Given a decimal number, this is your decimal number converted to binary. So this is your same as what we need to do normalization for the for this normalization. This uh, uh, point need to be shifted. So one point how how many we are shifting? Ma three bits. So one zero zero one zero one into two power how much five? Two power. Five. How many? How many bytes we shifted? Three. Five, Amma. How many? Ah, uh, three. So, how many bits we shifted previously for here dot? So we shifted from here to here. I mean, how many? One, two, three. So two, three. One point one zero zero one zero one. Now coming to sign. So sign we have definitely a sign. So in this representation, sign we have. Can anyone tell me zero is what? One is what in sign bit? In go for signed magnitude representation. So in signed magnitude representation, if it is plus a plus twelve, it will be like zero one one zero zero. If it is minus twelve, it will be represented as one 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 zero zero. This not is big one. What it is big for represent? So here even for signed we have to sign. It has one k. So in this way, uh, so here as it is not mentioned sign, so I'm considering that in your exam you it uh, given a question, um, it will be mentioned whether it is minus or plus. So here I consider sign as one. 
and the mantisa as this part this part is mantisa so triple one zero one one zero and exponent as five okay next what try to concentrate everyone completed two steps how to do normalization next is next is in a floating point representation in maximum of the systems floating point representation will be done in i to the 754 format so in that format we have two standards note down in your notes we have two standards what are those two standards is single precision representation you can do double precision representation you can do when you will go for double precision means in single precision there will be a problem called overflow and underflow in such case you you can go for double precision representation so single precision representation the standard is 32 bit that entire 32 bit will be divided into three partitions what those three partitions is one partition will be sign one partition will be exponent the other partition will be mantisa same here also so what are those partitions you see write down side heading in your notes single precision representation so here here i already said that sign bit sign bit if it is zero that indicates it is positive number sign bit if it is one it indicates it is negative number okay so coming to exponent here exponent in the we are going for a bias so let me just complete this then we can go so we have an exponent. so try to see here in this uh, diagram so it is showing as e dash so it is not showing exponent as e is showing as e dash okay so this we are representing in bias map means exponent plus bias value you need to add so dash equals to e e is what we what we have done previously is the same example i will consider phi plus bias value for this uh, uh, single precision is 127 this first single precision is 127 plus 127 you need to add so you will get one value that again you need to convert to binary and binary value need to be placed here and this is your mantisa and mantisa in single precision will be 23 bits mantisa in single precision will be 123 bits coming to double precision so in double precision here sign bit will be one even if it is single or double sign bit will be one next is your exponent exponent also here also representing e dash you note down in your form uh, notes ma e dash equals to e plus bias so bias value in double precision is 1023 bias value in double precision is 1023 okay so now let's take an example okay so represent this is your example i am going for an example is given a decimal number to convert to binary and the next step normalization after normalization based on this format you need to fill this format okay so in this example in this example i'm considering 1259.125 okay in single i want to represent this in single precision as well as in double precision for that first what what's first step is what just now i said convert the given decimal number into binary okay so all of you do in your notes mark 1259 uh, are you getting this binary number or not? You uh, floating point representation. We started with floating point representation, and in this we have two representations. What are those two representations? One is single precision format, and the other one is double precision format. So these are uh, IEEE standard for floating point number. Why we need to go for this uh, standards is that we have different uh, uh, processors existing like uh, um, uh, Intel like that. So different processors while storing a floating point representation, it has to use some standard format. So uh, whatever the processor it may be, it, ha it will follow IEEE standard for storing inside our system uh, for floating point numbers. So in this, we have two single precision and double precision. So in a single precision, we have the uh, bits 32 bits. And in double precision, we have 64 bits. And even the 32 bits will be divided into three uh, components. One is for sign, and the other one is for exponent, and the other one is for mantisa or fractional part. Okay, so in this uh, sign bit is used for indicating whether the number is positive or ne negative. And exponent in this case, we are representing with the uh, e dash. Why? Because can anyone tell me? Here in this exponent, let us consider exponent can be any two, right? It can be our negative, uh, it can be our negative number, 
exponent can be a negative number or it can be a positive number like let me go for an example so see here ma like for uh, yesterday i have given some example like 26 into 2 power you will have an exponent let us consider it is minus 6 okay so if it is minus 6 or if it is plus 6 so for negative representations we have studied three what are those three can anyone for negative represents uh, re, uh, ne uh, representation we have sign and magnitude representation we have one's complement representation and we have two's complement representation okay so one's complement two's complement and sign complement now instead of this uh, each will have its own uh, advantage and disadvantage like when you, when we go for sign and one's complement zero zero number uh, will be uh, for negative number we have one zero for positive number we have one zero so what we have done is we have included a bias so if you include a bias we are converting the signed numbers to unsigned numbers with the help of excess excess codes okay so what is this bias is we included a bias in such a way that the signed numbers we are converting to unsigned for for removing the complexity so here instead of signed exponent what we are doing is we are in adding a bias so that it will be converted to unsigned so instead of signed exponent t the value actually stored in exponent field e dash so e is what value that we will get plus bias value 127 why this 127 why not the other number is you must know signed representation now let us consider can anyone tell me uh, n equals to the uh, see me uh, see my uh, for a single precision representation what uh, the number of bits occupied for storing exponent is how many bits ma 8 bits okay so if it is 8 bits can anyone tell me the range for 0 and 1's complement uh, uh, sign and 1's complement range if n equals to 8 range cheppandi amma range we already discussed minus If n equals to eight, why I have considered eight? Eight because in a single precision format, first we will discuss single precision, then we will go for a double precision. So in a single precision format, the exponent size that we have given for uh, entire thirty-two, we have given for exponent eight bits. Okay, so if it is eight bits, if it is sine and one's complement representation, tell me the range. Substitute n equals to eight. Tell me the range. Minus. Two fifty six to two fifty six. Yes, minus two fifty six or one twenty seven. Ah, yes. One twenty seven. Yes, yes, minus one twenty seven. Why? Because the entire n bits we cannot talk. Uh, we cannot go for a. a Uh, unsigned like unsigned why because one bit is used for representing a sign bit so because of that n minus 1 minus 1 will be 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 will be the formula okay so definitely you will get minus 272 uh, minus 127 to plus 127 okay so leave about this so what we are doing is the formula how we are including the bias is important so how we are including is the formula is this. see here So this is the formula. See here. So let us consider thirty-two bit single precision. The uh, how we are convert, uh, how we are uh, partitioning these components is thirty-two bit single precision. For sine bit, we are representing one bit. For exponent, we are taking eight bits. For mantissa, we are taking twenty-three bits. Plus one not stored. What is this one? I will explain. So the formula for calculating bias is two power n minus one minus one means n here is number of bits. Uh, we are how many bits we are going for exponent. So we have eight bits. So two power eight minus one. So will be two power seven. So two power seven nothing but one twenty eight minus one. You will get one twenty seven. So that is the reason that it is. One to x is one twenty seven. Now let us consider for double precision. So for double precision, I triple format is sixty four bit. So in the sixty four bit, same as uh, single precision, we will divide into three three um, components. One is for sine, one bit. 
one is for exponent for exponent we are using 11 bits and for mantisa we are using for mantisa we are using 52 bits okay <coughs> one not stored why i will explain and for calculating exponent x is by us so how many ex um, exponent bits are there in uh, double precision my is it 8 bits or 11 bits it is 11 bits so because of that 2 power 11 minus 1 so 2 power 11 minus 1 you will get 2 power 10 so, so 2 power 10 will be 1024 1024 minus 1 will be 1023 okay so uh, it's an advanced ma we are not having in our syllabus 128 bit uh, uh, this one so let me go for the x is 3 so here that's the reason for that's the reason for bias we have included here bias is 127 so it is known as x is 127 format okay so why we are including this bias is exponent will also have a negative and positive representations but they have their own uh, drawbacks like if you go for a sign and ones we have zero in positive one number negative in other number and in twos also while uh, while representing it will be different so for that what we are doing is we are going for an excess excess code so that this entire will be converted to unsigned but internally it will be represented as signed so that is the reason we are going for a uh, excess format and how we will get this 127 means based on the exponent bits here we have 8 bits so 2 power 8 minus 1 minus 1 we will get as 127 so coming to double precision format just now i said that you will have three fields one field is for sign one the other field is for exponent and the other field is for mantisa so here in sign if we have a zero it indicates it is positive number if it is one it indicates it is negative number and in exponent we will not give directly an exponent even we add a excess uh, code called 1023 excess code called 1023 so if exponent here is 2 power 4 so will you write directly here 4 no we have to write the formula here for e dash is e dash equals to e plus bias so let us consider it is 2 power 4 4 is your a e so 4 plus 1023 if you add you will get some value that value you need to convert to binary so that the converted binary number you have to store in this way okay so let we have even considered this example also so what example that we have considered is 1259.125 this given a decimal number first step is what mark can anyone given a decimal number first step what we need to do convert to binary yes convert to binary to bin converting to binary everyone done in your notes right in pre uh, previous class only this one is completed if not note down directly you can convert afterwards first step is convert decimal number into binary so for this part for integer part you have to go for division for fractional part you have to go for multiplication and you got an answer like and 1259 as 100 and 125 we, after doing multiplication you will get as 0 0.001 okay next this is your final answer binary answer next second step is you need to do normalization normalize a given number so for doing normalizations you have to shift a uh, point right side so until how many time until one point so one point uh, how many we shifted means one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten positions we have shifted right so that's the reason that we got two part ten okay now this try to listen more carefully this integer part one we are not storing just now i said no this plus one not stored what is this one is this one plus one not stored is this one this one okay means internally system knows that integer part by default will be one so it will not store so uh, uh, instead of store unnecessarily storing it will not store by default integer part it knows that it will be one after doing normalization so see here ma until here yesterday we completed right so last last class we completed now the same one i want to represent uh, this integer part first after completing the first step called uh, given a decimal number converting to binary next normalizing the number next is what you need to represent this in single precision and double precision let me go for a single precision so first we need to fill the sign 
So based on a given number, is the sign is positive or negative? Ma? See this number. Is it positive or negative number? Minus and mention is on number. Yes. Am I audible? No, ma'am. No, it is not mentioned as minus. So is it positive number or negative number? Positive. Yes, it is positive. If it is positive, what we have to write in place of S1 bit 0 or 1? Zero. Zero. Yes. Zero indicates positive. One indicates negative. So because the given number is positive, s equals to zero, we have to write. Okay. Now coming for exponent, you try to concentrate. Now coming for exponent, what value we got in exponent to part 10? So 10, 10 is your exponent. Will you write directly exponent here? No, we have included a bias, excess bias concept. So what's the formula for calculating excess, uh, 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 for calculating this uh, exponent value is? Here, what is this mantisa? What value we got mantisa? After this dot, this is your mantisa and fractional part, which is nothing but 0011010110101. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. Okay. So sign we have written as 0. Why? Because the given number not, not specified as negative. By default, it is positive. It is mentioned as 0. Exponent 10. But you should not write 10 as it is. I will explain later. So and this mantisa is what you have written here this is your after dot whatever the numbers that we got this is your fractional part or mantisa or mantisa now bias for single precision format just now we discussed of the formula for calculating bias is 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 so n is here exponent value the in a single precision we have 8 so it will be 128 so minus 1 you will get 127 so exponent value is 10 here. So 10 plus 127, you will get 137. So if you convert 137 to binary, this is your binary representation. You can note down in your notes. Afterwards, you can verify whether this is correct or not. So the binary representation for <coughs> 137 is 1 triple zero 1 double zero 1. Okay, 1 double zero 1. So next, here, for sign as it is 0, so I, we, we, I have mentioned 0. Next, in, in exponent place, in place of 8 bit, it is 137 converted to binary. We have represent as 1 triple 0, 1 double 0, 1. And in place of mantisa, how many bits we have in a mantisma? Uh, mantisa ma, ok sari count just step on in a ko? 12 or 13? How many bits we have in Mantisama? 13. 13. 13. But how many bits are there actually in single precision format? How many bits we have in a single precision format ma, for uh, Mantisa? 23. 23. Right? So we have only uh, see this representation. You have to note down this carefully, ma. The given for a single precision format, we have 23 bits. For this 23 bits is 0 to 22. Uh, but the man, the calculated mantisa, we are getting only 13. So rest, we need to do padding. Padding is very important. So what we are doing here is the remaining uh, pl uh, places we have to write as 0. So see here, here 0011 zero, zero, one, one, uh, triple one zero one. Uh, 0, double 1, 0, 0, 1. And remaining left out positions added as it is fractional parts, you have to place with zeros. Okay. So that is nothing but we are mentioning the concept as padding. Okay. So we are doing padding and remaining bits uh, out of uh, that uh, 22 bits, we are placing what? Zeros. So this is your mantisa. So in your exam, your question will be asked as given a decimal number represent in single precision. So this is a way how to represent in single precision. Now coming for a double precision, coming for a double precision, try to see ma, single is 32 bits entire for, uh, for occupying the three fields and for double is 64 bits. Okay. So for sign by default, it will be one bit for exponent 11 bits and for um, mantisa, it is 52 bits. Okay. 
so i'm representing the same uh, same number 1259.125 in double precision also okay so in double precision exponent we have 10 so 10 uh, are we writing directly in exponent as 10 as uh, 1010 ela exponent 10 1010 ela how we are writing How we are writing, ma? Exponent, are we writing directly in place of exponent 10 as 1010? No, ma'am. No, we are we are adding what? Bias. Bias no, was for single, pre here you should not write like single precision. We are in a double precision. So, bias for double precision format is 1023. What's the formula for calculating, ma? Can anyone? For bias for double precision? N equals to what here? Exponent bit any bits on a double precision law 11, 11, 11 bits and how to calculate what's the formula for calculating for 11 bits? How we are getting 1023 2 power of n minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so you will get 2 part 10. So 2 part 10, nothing but 1024 minus 1, we will get 1023. So that's a uh, one that we are getting 1023 plus 10, we will get 1033. So, if you do 1033, this is a decimal number. You need to convert to a binary so that th you will get this binary number. This binary number must be placed in the exponent place. And in Mantisa, we only have a 13 bits. And remaining places, we need to do padding. Padding is adding all extra three zeros in a 52-bit place. Okay. So, is it clear, everyone? Now, note down note down the question that i am giving is just uh, you have not done anything just whatever that i am explaining you have uh, uh, you are uh, i am used formulas but you try to represent take the number 162.165 i have a solution if you say i will say whether it is correct or not okay the question that i am giving is convert decimal number 162.165 to single precision as well as to double precision to single as well as to double chain number first step is what can anyone what's the first step for doing decimal to binary convert, yes. convert decimal to binary next is what normalize the number yes okay do do it and tell me the final uh, don't uh, say the answer what's the decimal num what's the binary number equivalent to decimal after doing normalization tell me the answer so i will show you the steps what you are doing now See here, this are, these are the steps. So this is single precision format. In single precision format, you have 32 bits. Just remember what is exponent bits. Uh, for single precision, it is 8 bits. And for double precision, is, it is 11 bits. If you remove 8 plus 1, 9, remaining bits will be 22 for Mantisa. And whereas they are 52 52 bits for Mantisa. If you remove 11 plus 1, 12, 12 minus 64 bits, you will get what? 54 as Mantisa. Ever I not chaste? You tell me the answer, what value that you are getting. I will show the first two steps also. So these are the steps you need to write in this way. Step one, convert decimal number into binary. Integer part, you need to do division. Fractional part, you need to do multiplication.
ఏమొచ్చిందమ్మా వన్ పాయింట్ జీరో వన్ ట్రిపుల్ జీరో వన్ ట్రిపుల్ జీరో వన్ ఇంటూ టూ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ఎస్ మా బట్ ఫ్రాక్షనల్ పార్ట్ యూ ట్రై టు డూ ఇట్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ బిట్స్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ బిట్స్ టూ బిట్స్కే చేసావు కదా whenever you are doing for fractional part at least you do it for 5 bits ma why because now again we need to convert back to decimal number in that case if you are doing for less numbers again for fractional part getting actual number will be difficult still anyone only one student completed till now మ్యామ్ వన్ పాయింట్ జీరో వన్ ట్రిపుల్ జీరో వన్ ట్రిపుల్ జీరో వన్ జీరో వన్ ఇంటూ టూ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ఎస్ ఎస్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ వాట్ అబౌట్ అదర్స్ మ్యామ్ హై ఫ్రమ్ ఎంటైర్ ఫిఫ్టీ టూ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓన్లీ టూ కంప్లీటెడ్ టిల్ నౌ ah then if that is completed then uh, use those and uh, f- complete uh, filling in uh, single precision and double precision ma after completing writing in single precision you tell me the what you have written in single precision what value will you get in exponent is it 7 or uh, the other number Seven ma'am. Seven ma'am. Okay, uh-huh. seven only. Seven after adding bias, excess bias value for single precision. 134 base 10. Yes, 134. Convert that to binary. Mm. 1 double 0, double 0, double 1 0 ma'am. Uh, yes, yes. Write in single precision. if you are writing in a single precision i am showing the screen uh, ppt is ma you try to fill according to this 0 to 31 sign sign bit as i have given positive number you will get 0 and you need to represent 134 in decimal numbers and this is for double precision yes minus if not completed leave it that's at least to complete for single precision it's enough until single precision it's enough ever in a failure say chapan amma until single precision including a sign bit you tell me single precision in format complete cheste evaraina cheppandi em ochindi value any one more fast i saw that i will go for the next topic hmm single precision after filling sign exponent and mantis tell me 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay okay remaining remaining all zeros zero. we need to do padding okay yes good now now try to concentrate what we are doing is we are doing reverse so means what in the question 
two types of questions will be asked. Ma, mostly the first one what we have uh, done will be asked, and the reverse way is given a single precision format. You need to do what we you need to convert to decimal number is a second question. But let let me take the other example. Ma, negative exponents. See here. Uh, yes, ma. Still, if you are writing, I should not see anyone writing. See here. Stop. Stop writing. And uh, you can uh, key, uh, leave some space, and you can continue here. So convert. You can get this uh, like this question. Convert minus zero point eight one two five to binary in single and double precision. So the so solution is what here we don't have an integer part is showing a zero. So fractional part you have to do multiplication. So if you do multiplication, you are getting what one one zero one. So zero point one one zero one. Okay. So now. We need for normalization. What do you have to do? We need to shift the right side. But here already we have a zero point one one. So you have to do left side uh, shifting the left side. So let me write with an example so that you can understand. When I came in number. So if integer part is zero, then definitely you will get what exponent negative value also. So you, if you are having question name on the mark, can anyone minus zero point eight one two five minus zero point eight one two? Okay, here it is zero. No, okay. Let me write zero. So if you convert, what number we are getting is double one zero one. So we are getting zero point double one zero one. First step is converted given a decimal number to binary. Next step is normalization. Previously we used to have like this one 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 point zero zero one. We need to uh, we have uh, shifted right up. But here to do normalization by default integer part we have to place as one. So what I am doing is I am shifting left side. So here one. Point one zero one. As I have shifted this side, the exponent value will be how many? How many bits I have shifted, ma? How many bits I have shifted? See here, how many bits I have shifted? Only one, right? So uh, previously it was zero point. Now it is one point one zero one. So only one bit it is shifted. So it is minus one. Okay. So you may get uh, the exponent till now. What we discussed is positive exponent. Where we have in the middle exponent to do normalization, we are shifting to first position. Whereas if integer part is zero and fractional part, if you have, then definitely you have to do in the other direction shifting. So where you will get negative number. So how many shifting you will do based on that? You will have minus one. So you have minus one. So exponent is minus one. Ah, uh, but. In a uh, in a uh, bias value, this minus one will be represented as minus one plus bias. As it is single precision, it is one twenty seven. So minus one plus one twenty seven, you will get as one twenty six. Okay. So in double precision, you will get one zero two two. I will take the same another example. Try to take the other example as given. I triple a seven five four binary representation as minus. Minus you have to note down in your notes ma minus zero point seven five. You need first step is one. You need to convert this to decimal. Uh, given a decimal number, you need to convert to binary. So if you convert to binary, it is what minus zero point one one. And next you need to do normalization. So as you shifted only one bit position, it is minus one. Now this has to be converted back this uh, to decimal again. For that. I want to go for this example. Note down this formula, ma. So high triple format. This is a formula for converting back to decimal number. Note down this formula. Minus one par s. This s is your sign bit. If in this case, if sign bit is uh, whether it is zero or whether it is one, so this s value will be the sign value and one point m. But most of the cases, it will be represented as one point uh, m or One plus m. This one point m indicates this one is your integer part. Try to concentrate. This one is your integer part. So point m. 
so uh, uh, m is your mantissa next 2 into your exponent exponent previously what you calculated let us consider mana kochina value 134 okay 134 minus your bias so minus here we are doing minus for converting back to uh, floating point representation to decimal you have to do minus so from decimal to floating point representation you have to do plus so e minus bias so bias value for single precision will be 127 for double precision will be 1023 if you do e minus bias mana previous ga calculate chesindi entamma 134 minus 127 em em raavali manaki actual exponent you have to get are you getting actual exponent 7 yes you are getting actual exponent 7 so this is a formula note down now you have to do the reverse solution so this is a question given in the question paper let us suppose what decimal number is represented by this single precision format okay so uh, this is your sign bit so clearly it indicates whatever the question that it is given is a negative number leave about what decimal number is by saying this one we can able to identify it is minus now coming to this can anyone tell me 100 0001 is which number in a, which number is this ఒకసారి వే పొజిషన్స్ పెట్టుకొని చెప్పండి అమ్మ నాకు ఏం నంబర్ వస్తుంది అది వన్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ మ్యామ్ Ah, yes good good 129 so we have 129 but uh, it, it is in excess uh, excess bias excess 127 so as we have an exponent 129 so what we have to do in order to get actual exponent actual exponent minus around, 127 yes minus 127 means you will get what 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 you are getting One, oh, one twenty eight minus one twenty seven. You will get two. Okay, so here, so here, uh, what you are getting, ma? You are getting two. Okay, so uh, let me see the fractional part equals to one. So why why it is taking fractional part equals to to see here whatever that we are writing here is fractional part. Try to concentrate whatever that we are writing is here fractional part. So if fractional part, Ella calculate just some given a fractional part decimal number. How to con uh, convert to a binary is you will start from minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four like that, right? So as it is starting from zero, I am giving minus one. and in in any position we are not having any one only in the second position we have one so it is minus 2 so why i am not considering as minus 3 minus 4 is all zeros anyway if we write or if you don't write anyway it will be zero so it will be minus 1 minus 2 so it is minus 2 so 1 into 2 power minus 2 so directly you are getting as 0.25 okay 0.25 so let me substitute with the formula minus 1 power s s here in the indicates here one so you will get minus 1 into into 1 plus what we got here ma 1 plus mantissa this part is fractional or mantissa so what we got here 0.25 idela ochindi ardhamaina ma fractional part you must know the numbers conversions whatever that we have written here is fractional part so calculating binary number to decimal number for fractional part what do you have to do you have to start from minus 1 so as if you start from minus 1 it will be minus 2 so 1 into 2 power minus 2 the value that you will get is 0.25 so according to this 1 1 here is wrong ma here you will get 1 plus okay so 1 plus see here you will get plus here so 1 plus fractional part 1 1 plus fractional part what, what you will what you got is 0.25 into 2 power ipudu manaku unna exponent x is lo undi so we have to remove so 129 minus 127 enduku 127 means we have we are in a single precision so it, you will get as 2 part 2 okay so if you calculate what you are getting Minus one into one point two five into two power two. So finally, you are getting as minus five point zero. So this is your decimal number to the single precision.